When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. All right, so we're here at the gym. You already know what it is. We're about to work up to our top set for our squats today. I'm filling in the new knee sleeve from Village Hidden in the Iron. Let me grab them right here. Knee sleeves, belt, Village Hidden in the Iron. These are the knee sleeves that uh, SSJ Bob, which is the best in my weight class for powerlifting, he used for his uh, meat. So these are heavy. When I say heavy, these joints are heavy, like heavy duty freaking take five to 10 minutes to get on. So I've never had knee sleeves like these and I'm super excited. We're about to put on our squat shoes. We're about to throw these on, throw the belt on, and we're about to fucking get after it. Ugh. Ah! Fuck! I feel like once you put five, I mean, four reds on there, the shit just becomes like ridiculously heavy out of nowhere. Like it's like we in the 300s, then we in the 400s slash 500s with four plates. Bro, whatever regular amount of weight it is on, and it was crazy is, I don't, it was crazy, I don't understand why Greg just said, was making fun of me when I said the kilo plates weigh more like if you powerlifting, you know, you know the difference. Every person that powerlifts outside of you, like normal ass gym people who don't use kilo plates, understand that there is just something about kilo plates besides it being calibrated and like possibly the actual amount versus regular 45s in the gym. That's just like, damn, this shit feels heavy as hell. These feel 100 pounds heavier than normal gym, gym uh, weights. So, and if you lift weights for real and power lift, you would you would you know that. So uh, that being said, we're moving up now. Uh, four reds, still feeling. I mean, hell, these three plates even feel heavy, bro. I, I'm just so like squat is like the one thing that I'm like, oh. like that's gonna be like the one thing really lagging for me uh, in this power lift me. Like if I could just pull off 600. I'd be happy to be real. <laughs> a 600, if I, could just, if I could pull off a 600 squat, I'd be happy, bro. But we, we, we're gonna aim higher, of course. Uh, but I, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling pretty springy with these knee sleeves. So, you know, hopefully these, that'll give me confidence to be like, F it, you know? It ain't nothing impressive, but fuck. Felt good, I felt springy out of that. Even went for an extra rep. Do some 35s on there now, so we are at, uh, we have 555 right now, and uh, I'm pretty confident. My goal, honestly, is a 630 squat. If I, my, so these, these are my numbers. These are my numbers. Be able to pull seven minimum. These are my minimums. Seven. So all right, I'm gonna start with my minimum number: 750 deadlift, 485 uh, bench press, and a 600 squat. That's, that's 1835 total. Now, my top end goal, 630 squat, 765 um, deadlift, and a 500 bench. Damn, that's still only 18. That's like, it's not even worth it. <laughs> I might as well go for my lowest numbers. That's only 1895, shit. Honestly, 
I was discouraged until these knee sleeves. I was super discouraged about my squat until these knee sleeves, y'all. Ah! Goose! So that set felt, it was, a, it was a grinder, but it's not feeling like crazy, bro. I kid you not, I was so like overwhelmed with these weights today. I'm feeling like hella good. I'm not saying, I don't know if it's the knee sleeves, but I'm bouncing out this hoe right now. You know, that was a bit of a struggle. I think I can manage to add 20 more pounds on. That was 615. So we're gonna add 20 more pounds on. We'll be at 635. Oh! Oh, let's go. All right, so successful. I'm gonna do uh, some back down sets. Probably set to three. Uh, bro, I'm probably gonna do like, yeah, four, three or four sets of three. Um, just to get a little bit more feel, just to keep it going. But um, yeah, until today, I was super worried about my squad. But I just PR'd. I literally just PR'd on the weights that I was scared of. My last squat, like, PR was 630. This is 635. And it looked like I could have added more weight on it. It looked like it. It didn't really feel like it, but it looked like it. Sometimes what it looks like on video is not how it felt. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I probably could have added like five more pounds, so 640. Um, but we're progressing, man. I'm about 100 pounds away from what the top people are lifting, but these are guys that have been lifting and powerlifting for years. And for me to only think that, you know, for me to say that, damn, on all of my lifts, I'm within like a 100 pound range of everybody's like maxes and shit, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? A little bit, a little bit more with squat, like, you know, 100, 130, whatever, like, you know, we got some 800 pound squatters. Um, but squat, I feel like squatting is the only thing I'm really behind on. Benching, I'm not behind on. Benching, I'm, I'm able to bench what, you know, I'm able to keep up with the top power lifters with benching. Deadlift, I'm uh, slacking a bit on deadlift. Not by 100 pounds, but you know, we're, we're in that like 50 pound range, I feel like it. Um, and then squat, squat's that only, like that one lift that I'm just like really behind on, you know. I'm a push puller, I'm not a squatter. So if I was a push pull only, I'd be like, I feel like I can catch up with everybody. But the squat is gonna be my main thing that I'm going to have to really um, focus on, get up, if I wanna be um, really competitive um, with these other power lifters. Uh, but yeah, I'm super excited, you know, like I said, my, my goal is the 1800 total. Uh, I would like a 1900 and that's like if all the stars align, 1900 total. Um, I'm not there yet for the TK total, but it would be nice. So yeah, I'm excited, man. Let's go ahead and get these uh, last sets in. So this last set's a little, uh, we just threw on seven plates on there just cause. I'm not really sure if it was the best thing to do, but we're gonna find out. I'm, uh, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling pumped today. 
And like I said, I, I want to get my body used to that, um, just like that amount of hitting the heavy weight and then going to the next one, warming up, hitting the next heavy weight, and then, you know, so on and so forth. So, yeah, having a good time. We are done with this video, ladies and gentlemen. That is, that's it, that's it, I'm done. I was gonna do more, but like, I'm done, I'm trashed. I'm gonna save it for Sunday. Sunday we have an SBD day. Uh, today is Thursday. So, I think we hit a pretty good limit for today. Uh, it's just all about pacing myself up until the last week and, um, you know, having that week off pretty much. Uh, very minor things, just the muscle activation stuff, most likely. But like I said, man, I'm feeling. I was I, but at the beginning of this video before I started shooting. Like I was super underconfident, like especially in the squat. Honestly, I'm more underconfident now in my deadlift than my squat because my squat's starting to feel light. My, my deadlifts are feeling fucking starting to feel heavy. I'm always confident in bench. Bench is always a, you know. But right now. Nah, I'm actually trying to get this video up today. It is, mind you, ladies and gentlemen, if I do get it up today, it is Thursday, April 20th. It is 2.31 right now. I'm trying to get this whole up by 7. So I'm about to rush to the house and edit this video.